G'day guys, we've got a few exhausts we're going to test today. We've got our stock muffler, we're going to test that with and without the end cap. Then we'll test our TDR Moto snake style pipe. Then we'll move on to our CDH66 pipe. And then finally CDH66 with a muffler. Let's go. I spent the time to rejet the carb between each exhaust, so the power we're going to get today is the optimal power we can get from this combo. So next up is the stock muffler without the muffler cap. Run two, stock muffler, no end cap. Run three, testing the TDR Moto snake pipe. Burn my leg a little. I'll give it a minute to cool off and then we'll fit up the CDH66. While that was cooling down, I did some light port matching. The inner diameter of this pipe is actually quite large and the restriction is this flange here. So I've um, kind of merged that to the gasket as best I can and the gasket is matched to the cylinder port. So I'll go fit this and we'll see what happens. Run 4, CDH66 pipe, no muffler, port matched flange. Okay, run five, we're gonna add this muffler. This is from a KX85. Uh, surprisingly, it has the same stinger diameter. Whoop. Camera, there. So we'll fit this and see if that helps or hurts. Okay, let's go take a look at those results. So here's our results. The 1.5 horsepower line is pretty much uh, flat from 10 miles per hour out to 30 miles per hour. That's our stock exhaust. When we remove the cap, we see it uh, increase to three horsepower, which is double the horsepower. And it starts to taper off after about 17 miles per hour. And it dips below the stock power at about 24 miles per hour. So if you want low end, uh, take that cap off. It's a bit loud, but yeah, pretty good gains. Next up was the snake pipe, and that gave us a peak of 2 horsepower down at about 13 miles per hour. But it quickly dropped below um, the stock muffler at about 15 miles per hour, and it made about half a horsepower, and yeah, it just ran like crap towards the end. Then we tried the CDH66, and that gave us a peak of 3.2 horsepower, and that peaked around about 21 miles per hour. So that's a pretty good curve there. And after we added the muffler, um, a completely different torque curve. We've got a 3.9 horsepower peak at 20 miles per hour and it's a pretty broad power curve here so that'll um, pull pretty hard and get some good hill climbing and top speed. It did completely run out of power at about 28 miles per hour but um, before that huge gains. We've still got a bunch more mods to try. We've got the OZ and G2 re blocks. We've got different cylinders, different heads, a couple of different carbies and our tillots and carbies are arriving today I think. We're also going to try to hydroform our own um, expansion chamber, see how we go with that. And uh, yeah, hopefully these tests 
help you save a bit of money and uh, give you a better idea of what works and what doesn't. If you want to chip in, we've got a Patreon. You can throw a couple of dollars our way and help us uh, buy different pipes and other bits and pieces that you recommend. That's about it for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you in the next one with hopefully uh, carby testing.